Today we took delivery of a Boss Laser. This is a 3655. It's a pretty large industrial machine. It is 36 inches by 35 inches and so far I'm very impressed. The approximate shipping weight of the 3655 Boss Laser is about 1500 pounds. So we had it delivered with a box truck and the lift gate isn't quite big enough to be able to take this down. So with a third party towing company, we were able to get it down on the ground and then from there we were able to move it into the house. Getting this inside was a bit of a trick in itself because we did it all by hand. So we used the pallet that it came on, we disassembled the crate, took off each one of the sides and then started to inch it towards the door. We were able to open up the double doors, both sides. And then we were able to slowly slide it in until we got both of the wheels and all four wheels on the ground. And then it was a lot easier to maneuver around and push. With all the options that we got, it came with a honeycomb bed, and I think that's standard that with the 3655, you get the honeycomb bed and the knife edge table. Both great for different applications. It comes with the CW5000 chiller, that's an option, but it's something really important you have to have. If you don't have a CW5000 chiller, the water that's cooling the tube can get too hot and you can burn out your tube. So it's very important to have a CW5000, that's like the grade. So it's a more industrial grade for a higher power laser because this has the 150 watt laser, so it's a very powerful laser. Basically what you do is you put the distilled water in here and it pumps it through that laser tube and then the chiller cools the water, it keeps it cold. In the back of the machine is the monster of a laser tube. This is a 150 watt laser and this thing can do some serious cutting. One of the options that we opted to get was the California Air Tools Ultra Quiet Compressor. So this has a pretty small capacity and it's gonna be only used for the air assist on the compressor. It was about a $100 option and this thing is really quiet. We also made sure to get a pretty powerful blower so that it can evacuate all the smoke that's created inside of the chamber. And we opted to get another extra lens. It's a different focal length for cutting thicker materials. There's some different tips that come with it, all kinds of different things, some tubing for the water cooling, everything you need is in here. This opens up really nice, it has air shocks just like you'd see in your trunk and it really supports the weight of the lid. We can jog the machine around a little bit. It has that little test laser, it's just the normal red laser. So you know where you're going to be cutting. I like how the knives are removable, so if you're making a large cut and you want it to end up falling through, you can just remove the knives that you need, and then you have a more open area if you need the parts to evacuate. To clean out the machine, you can open up this bottom hatch, and then there's a drawer underneath here that'll have all the parts that will fall into. It's nice that there's a key on the machine you can turn off the machine with, and then there's no other way to turn on the machine without the key, because this can be a pretty dangerous machine, so this way you have to have the key to turn on the machine. I'm really excited to be able to start setting this up, start cutting with it, starting to test what it can do. I think this is going to be a really valuable machine.